Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Today we're going to be making some British Indian restaurant style tandoori lamb chops. So these are very different uh, to what you would get at a normal sort of kebab house, takeaway Turkish sort of uh, grill houses. So it's normally less marinated but we put so many spices, it's unbelievable. Basically when you have the tandoori lamb chops, how it is from an Indian restaurant, you won't need any more condiments. No more chili sauce, no more ketchups. All you might need is a bit of yogurt mint sauce just to cool it down a bit. So today we're going to be making some fantastic lamb chops. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I just had to um, show this fantastic uh, Baraka, Baraka supermarkets in Shelton, Stoke on Trent. I mean, the meats were fantastic. The guy behind the meat counter was excellent. I was actually recommended to go there and get their meats. Um, it's lovely and fresh, and the service is exceptional. Some people in Asian supermarkets they don't know how to cut the lamb chops. Um, with the fat on and everything. I mean, this guy did an amazing job. Thank you very much. Right, ladies and gentlemen, one and a half kg of tender lamb chops. These with the fat on, so it's going to create a wonderful little flavor. The fat has some fantastic flavors. And now, let's get the spice marinade ready. Right, we're adding firstly the ginger and garlic. So this is one tablespoon of ginger and garlic for one and a half kg. And we're going to add, this is about, I would say, about one and a half teaspoon of salt. Bismillah. This is our mixed powder. That's one tablespoon of mixed powder, ladies and gents. Another secret recipe, just a Mr. Naga. So we're using about one teaspoon. This is going to make it nice and spicy for you guys to enjoy. And this also has a lovely little fragrance. Now we're going to add some tamarind. Do some still, Mama. Do some. some. So one good teaspoon of tamarind paste. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be adding the coriander stalks. So a handful of. If you use the coriander, leave the leaves for garnish and use the stalks because this has some fantastic flavors. And we're also going to be adding some green peppers. The green pepper gives a lovely little uh, flavor and fragrance as well. So that's a quarter of a green pepper gone in there. Wonderful. Now we're adding three green chilies. And also another quarter red pepper. So a green, quarter green pepper, quarter red pepper. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to add some mustard oil. Like uh, two spoons. About two tablespoons, basically just enough for this mixture to, uh, to blend. Now one whole one, whole lemon please. There you go. Well, you, you use your uh, initiative. Two, two tablespoons should be fantastic. And we're going to blend this. So this is two stage uh, marinade. Half a lemon juice. Use fresh lemon, it's lovely, zingy, soury, zesty flavour rather than the bought in lemon juice. It's concentrated, it's not good. Fresh is always best. Oh, it smells wonderful. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that was about two tablespoons of tin chopped tomatoes. And now we're going to try to whiz it up. Bismillah and Bordo. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I know you don't like this, but this is how it's done in the British Indian restaurants. So a nice little shop of paste. You don't need to add the paste. You can just use this if you want. But this is going to create the British Indian restaurant. So we've got the Kashmiri paste. We've got the tandoori paste. We've got the tikka paste. We've got some garden mint. We've got some Coleman mustard, some uh, tomato ketchup, tandoori, tandoori powder. No, no. This, this is the tandoori powder and some vinegar. Now let's... Crack on. 
ጌጣጌጥ ተስ So that's about a teaspoon of Kashmiri paste This this can be a bit salty so we don't add too much a tandoori paste so that's about two tablespoons of tandoori paste so about two and a half tablespoon of tandoori paste in there this brings out the lovely redness and the tandoori masalas some people just use tandoori paste and a few other things that's it but we put in everything tikka paste nani yeah so that's two tablespoon of tikka paste so there you go garden mendi tani some garden mint about a tablespoon there you go this is a lot of paste uh, but you can keep it for for other things as well lamb tikka chicken tikka you go wonderful with it now for some ketchup this one tablespoon so there you go one good tablespoon of tomato ketchup Now for that zinginess to it we're going to use some british mustard very peppery in flavor yeah some was like banana there you go one good tablespoon and this is a tandoori powder nani yeah one tablespoon yeah but one tablespoon of tandoori powder so these are the bought in stuff and a bit of vinegar to soften up the meat and the tanginess to it wonderful a yogurt dita nani yogurt there you go wonderful right back into the kitchen so we're going to add some yogurt below that's 1 2 3 there's so many spices gone into there all the smell the vibrant colors wonderful now this is all going to be mixed up and then we're going to mix the lamb wonderful and gentlemen base gravy cooking away there you go this is nearly done nearly finished so that's why we're making another base gravy before the start of business wonderful mm. right ladies and gentlemen 1 and 1/2 kg of lovely lamb chops and then we're going to add the marinade What's almost it, Mama? One tablespoon, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's enough. A six tablespoon and plenty, plenty of masala left. You can put it in the fridge for about a couple of weeks. Give this all a mix. So this. This is going to be wonderful. Now unfortunately when we do it for our customers, red coloring to the dinani. We add a bit of red color food coloring for that tandoori sort of look. But this is for us to eat and for you guys to eat the proper authentic looking but with the British Indian restaurant taste. This is going to be amazing ladies and gentlemen. Arite ni. 7 Eight. So that was two more uh, tablespoons added. So about eight tablespoon of this marinade, and still plenty left, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you have gloves on because it's got those green chilies and everything in there. Loads of spices. Tandoori chefs, if you guys are watching, I know your nails are always coloured with spices. Look at that. Wonderful, wonderful colours, wonderful fragrance. and you can mar once this mixed marinated put it in the fridge for a good um ek ghanta will you want it if you're really hungry one hour is fine but if you want the perfect taste leave it overnight 24 hours and let the yogurt and everything do its lovely 
marination there you go look at that if you can smell it it's absolutely wonderful there you go we're going to marinate this for a few hours so it's the start of shift and we're going to marinate this for a few hours and then we're going to when we're ready to eat we're going to stick it in the tandoor thank you very much a couple of cheeky lamb chops for me mate there you go no spices just a little bit of salt hello then did you put some salt here there you go so just a little bit of salt and I'm gonna grill it so I can just taste the meat ladies and gentlemen gravy boiling away Habibi did you put the spice in here yeah? onions carrots peppers spices tomatoes everything so if you want to watch how to make it watch my base gravy this is going to be cooking for a few hours wonderful right waiting for the lamb chops to get marinated uh, service has started this is just behind the scenes um, servicing the food and a few of the curries I know you like to see how it's cooked and check this quality out fantastic little dish and uh, yeah so just a little general uh, clips behind the scenes what goes on and how we serve our food wonderful Halal, what are you making? Just uh, infusing the butter yeah. on the uh, roast potatoes. So basically you just put some oil there. Uh, a bit of oil, uh, bit butter, of butter, garlic, garlic and uh, thyme. Thyme, yeah? So is this going to go with our potatoes? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So thyme infused, garlic, butter. And we just roasted, uh, boiled some potatoes for some accompaniments with our lamb chops. Wonderful. So these are the boiled potatoes, right? Yeah, so I'm just going to strain this garlic infused butter. Wow, it smells very garlicky, mate. I'm just going to add this on top of when I'm roasting it. Okay. Salt and pepper? Okay. Are you going to add some salt and pepper? Yeah. Oh, lovely pungent cracked black pepper. This is better than just your powdered black pepper. It gets a bit damp. Salt and pepper. Potatoes are a wonderful thing. There you go, it's better then. I'm just gonna rub off these edges so it's a bit crispy when it's roasted. Yep, getting very chefy now, yeah? Bit of vinegar. Oh, a bit of vinegar, I don't know about that. Just gonna add a little. So basically you're going to crunch these up and then just mm. sprinkle it on top, yeah? Yeah. Wonderful. There you go, some roasted potatoes. And what else are you making? I'm going to make a mixed fried rice, like a vegetable. Very soft fried vegetable rice. Broad. Fantastic. So the potatoes are done now, yeah? Yeah. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Spuds. Wonderful. You're going to sprinkle all the garlic on top? I'm going to do it halfway through, otherwise it's going to burn. Okay, okay. So these are, there you go, lovely potatoes with our sides. Now you're going to put it in the oven, right? Yeah, straight in the oven. Okay. Yes, proper roasted potatoes. Mm -hmm. Lovely. What are you making now, Hala? It's going to be a mix of uh, prawn and vegetable rice. Prawn and vegetable rice, yeah? Yeah. Stir fried rice, yeah? Get inspired by the, the pie. Thai inspired, yeah? Fantastic, so nice fried rice, roasted potato, and some lovely grilled lamb chops. Gorgeous. Base gravy is nearly done. Food is nearly done. Now we're gonna eat shortly. 
What are we adding now? Uh, adding some prawns. prawns. Nice broccoli as well, yeah? yeah. Cracked black pepper. Wonderful. Got a bit of uh, snaps here. Sugar snaps, broccoli, broccoli. Uh, a bit of green beans, and uh, garden peas. Yeah, proper stir fried rice. Yeah? Get here. Are you going to make this with boiled rice here? Yeah? Uh, boiled steak rice here. Yeah. So pre already cooked here? Yeah? Already cooked. Fantastic. Proper stir fried rice, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful. So what's that now? Uh, we've got some dark soy sauce here. Yes. Hello, yeah, buddy. Have a nice crunch to it, yeah? Fantastic. There you go, some rice. Wonderful. Dilao, dilao. <laughs> there you go. The yeah. last doing a cracking job here. is nicely coloured. It's going to be wonderful. Do you think the potatoes are done, Hala? I've uh, just checked on them. It's not quite done yet. Not quite done yet? No. So it's going to be crispy, yeah? Proper crispy. Hopefully. Hopefully. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in for a treat. Fantastic lamb chops, stir-fried rice, roasted potato. We're going to have a wonderful meal tonight at Latif's Indian Restaurant. Just waiting to do the lamb chops last minute so it's nice, juicy and succulent. And we're going to be serving it on a sizzler. Wonderful. Nice busy shift today. All the customers are gone. It's still a bit light outside. Enjoy a nice little juice. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the lamb chops are going in now. Let me show you. It's been marinated. Hogonta marinado is mama. Uh, it's been marinated for about three hours, so now we're going to put it into the tandoor oven. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. So no food colouring in this, but some fantastic spices, the yogurt, the oils. It's been marinated, so it should soften up. Ideally, in a real world, it should be marinated for about 24 hours, but obviously we need to eat, so the spices are penetrated. Now, nice hot oven. Slow gesho horbay nani mama. So we're going to make this on a slow gas. How much time will it take? 15-20 minutes. So we're going to cook on a slow gas, about 15-20 minutes in this lovely tandoor oven. Bismillah. Ladies and gentlemen, tandoori lamb chops. Wonderful. So we're going to cook this for about 15-20 minutes in a slow gas in this clay oven. So it should be nice, juicy and charred on the... Uh, nice, juicy inside and a little bit charred on the outside. Wonderful. And if you're cooking this at home, guys, put it into... If it's a gas-fired grill, don't put it into your oven. If you put it into your oven, all the moisture is going to come out. If you cook it on the grill, it should be uh, dry heat. So it cooks the outside and the inside, I'd say, is nice and moist. So about 7-8 um, minutes each side. Just check on the colour. If it browns, then you should turn, turn, turn the sides. But in our tandoor oven, we're going to cook this uh, in a controlled heat. And it should be ready 15-20 minutes when we see the light browning on the outside. So we'll come back to this shortly. Wonderful. Right, ladies and gentlemen, moment of truth. Potatoes are coming out. Yes. Looks wonderful. Beautiful. There you go. 
Lovely. Now we're going to put the garlic. Go on. There you go. Roasted potatoes. The garlic and thyme that we used before. Yeah. Looking wonderful. Now you're going to put it on the gantry, yeah? Yeah, just leave it in the gantry. Be Oh, leave it still inside, warm, yeah. yeah. It's still warm, yeah. Put it back in the oven, uh, turn the gas off, and then we'll leave it just to there you go, crisp up a slight little bit more. Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that, wonderful. Getting hungry looking at these. And I can't wait to eat. Stir fried rice. Making a salad. leafy salad, yeah? Mm. Fantastic. So, nice little salad. Rice, potatoes, lamb chops. Can't wait. Ooh, plating up now. Bit of salad, bit of stir fried rice. Then he's going to put the roast potato. And the lamb chops should be done shortly, but we're gonna cut, we're gonna bring the lamb uh, lamb chops out sizzling. Hopefully, fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Lamb chops are ready. Fantastic! Wow, look at these. Yes. Fantastic. This skewer just needs a little bit, a few more minutes while these are done. Gidi to Rajo Hortani Nazem Nasom Narayo. Tao, man? More healthy. So there you go. We're going to not put any ghee or butter on it. As it is, we're going to serve it out sizzling. Waiting for one more skewer and then we're going to start eating. All the spuds are looking great. Look at that. Wonderful. It smells very garlicky. Fantastic. Bismillah. Cup though. Did I tell this on here? So nice fried onions on a cast iron sizzler with a bit of oil. And now the lamb chops are coming. Wow, smelling wonderful already. Yo, there you go. There you go. There you go. Look at those. Oh, lovely char. Fantastic. There's also that far. Did you know? Yes, yes. Like your voice, any mama? Oh, oh, hi, Mune. First, what you are going to eat? Lamb chop. Oh, yes. Nice drizzle of ghee. Habibi, it's enough, enough. Yes, there you go. Wonderful. Donya Turado. Oh, sprinkle of fresh coriander. There you go. There you go. Get in there, my son. Look at that. Gorgeous. Sprinkle some lemon juice. Ufreta Gisaro. Yes. Lamb chops for the guys. Salim. Salim. Yes. This is what I'm talking about. Lovely lamb chops with the guys at the restaurant. Fantastic. And if that your Right, 
I'll get the lamb chops in. Um, there you go. Oh, this is nice and fatty and Ladies and gentlemen, lamb oh, chops, are you gonna put it everything? stir fried rice, roasted potatoes. So this was Halal's hard work and we've done these lamb chops. I mean, look at these, look at that, falling off the bone, nice, glistening away the fat, looks absolutely gorgeous. Now let's tuck in. Right, this looks wonderful. The guys are waiting for me to eat, so I need to be quick. That fat over there, I love the fat of the lamb chops. This is where the taste is. There you go. So, bismillah. Oh, yeah. Mama? Tandoori chef? Fantastic. This is absolutely amazing. I'm not just saying that. I really do mean it. If you follow it to how we've done it, you're really gonna enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, let me know. I promise you, it's fantastic. I just want it's very Moorish. Slightly a bite to it, but very juicy. This is amazing. Oh, chili sauce. Wow. Ah, uh, Look at that. Lovely meat. My uncle cooked it to perfection. The tandoori chef, very experienced. If you're doing that at home, eight to seven to eight minutes each side. Wow. I've got a friend who's just started up a business selling hot sauce. So what is this called? Heavyweight Chef presents Jab Jab Hook. So he's just started and it's very hot, very spicy. So we'll have a taste of this with our food. I know what you're waiting for is to see what hell I cooked the rice. It's a stir fried rice. Let's have a taste. Let me get that sugar snack. Oh, hello. Mm. Fantastic. Crispy, crunchy, vegetables. Wonderful rice with that soy sauce. Let's taste the potato. Nice, waxy. This is a red potato, isn't it? La, 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 uh, white ones. White ones. Oh, so I would have used the red potato, but this is white potato. Very nice, very flavoursome. Bit more butter next time. Mm. Too healthy there. So all in all, fantastic meal. What do you think, guys? You enjoyed it? Wow, beautiful. Yeah, fantastic. So if you like this vlog and you want to see more of this, what we do in the restaurant, and obviously this is a recipe as well. I'll put it on the description box. Hopefully you enjoy it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fantastic uh, food reviews and cookery and tutorials at Latif's Inspired. See you soon. Ow, ow, ow. Dessert to finish up. Ras Malai. Wonderful. Bismillah. Mm, very nice, nice taste made by staff.